Welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to please God. This topic came up in a discussion that I had with some persons the other day and I thought it would be a good uh, chance and, ex and, and uh, a good time to be able to establish some deeper meanings to how to please God. We did a previous video on, on this topic but we're going to go into more depth in this video. So let's get straight into it. But before that, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to this channel, please. I hear that the subscription and the likes um, help the channel out. So you'll be helping the channel out and you'll be helping me out also. So please smash the subscribe and the like also. So let's get straight into it. How to please God. Came up with seven ways of how to please God from the research and it goes like this having faith pleases God being spiritually minded not carnally minded pleases God fear God fearing God not to be scared of God but fearing God as in knowing and acknowledging that he's all powerful and he is the supreme source of the universe study and follow Jesus Christ's example, obeying God, do God's will. Some people say that God's will is the Ten Commandments, it's not outdated, it's still uh, valuable today in today's life and it helps people and it helps you to be in favour with God and with man. Give the sacrifice God wants is the final way how to please God that I've managed to research. So let's go into a bit more depth. Having the Holy Spirit dwelling in persons, in us, in us as human beings, uh, uprightness, keeping the Sabbath, choosing what pleases God, like abstaining from sexual immorality. Uh, avoid breaking any of God's commandments. Sing sacrifice of praise to God. That is the first of, that is the fruits of our lips. Giving thanks to his name, but do not forget to do good and to share. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Hebrews 13, verse 15 to 16. There was a person back in history called e Enoch. Enoch um, did not walk the way of the world. He was living in an evil world, but he did not walk the way of evil. Instead, he walked with God and that pleased God. You can find that in Genesis 5.24 or Hebrews 11 verse 5. Flesh cannot please God. Carnal mind is the human one. The carnal mind is the human mind. And to have God's mind, a, a mind like Christ, we need to study and, and read the Bible a lot more to be able to refer to his ways and use his example as a way of life for whoever considers themselves to be a believer or a follower of Christ. I hope this, val this is of value and blessings to someone. hope you're either taking notes or can share this with your friend. If you have any um, comments, please state them in the comments below. If you have, if I've missed out anything, any topic, any any points, or if you have any points to add, stick it in the comments below. It'd be much appreciated. Um, moving on to the next topic. 
is uh, repent and to be baptized that would please God everyone is to repent and to baptize and I, I guess that means everyone the whole world um, and a person will receive the Holy Ghost or, the, or shall I say the Holy Spirit fear God hope in his mercy acknowledging God is more powerful than anything else will please God and also become more like God become more godlike godly studying the Bible um, meditating on on it and praying about about it and keys of gaining deeper understanding of his will doing every good work Pleasing God, not man. Some people are people pleasers, but that may not actually get you very far. Pleasing God, once you have God on your side, you have everything. Do not pray and fast to seek the favour of men. And don't give gifts for men to see. These are ways that please God. So, as I said, I hope you got value from this. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the in the in in in, in the comment area below to let us know if you found value and insight and understanding in these subjects that we've talked about today. How to please God. God bless.